Hi, I'm Karen, the Weekend Craftaholic. I am back with the start of my August craft haul. Now, I can't believe it's August already. You may have noticed if you followed my channel, I was very late putting up the July craft haul. But been very busy for the past few weeks, but trying to get back on track now. So I did actually order this in July. Um, it probably took two, three weeks to come from America. It was actually from a D stash page on Facebook. But first of all, I didn't order this. So she must have thrown this in as a bit of a freebie. So that's always nice, isn't it? It's got some little Christmas trees in there as well as snowflakes. First of all, this die, this metal die, and, and this one is called window fancy die. So I think that's gonna be really great to do lots of different uh, rainbow colors as well. So I'm look forward to using that one. This one was the thing that really made me decide to put an order in, even though it was gonna come a long way and actually cost me more in postage than it did for these items. So I'm really pleased she was um, able to post it such a long way. But the, as you can see, this one is the Mama Elephant and what's this one called? Honey Bunny. Um, how adorable are these bunnies? They are absolutely gorgeous. I'm even loving the font as well. Um, so we've got some Easter ones as well as some little moustaches and hats that they can go on. Um, a little monocle, uh, carrots, and then a little these little frames as well that you could use if you wanted to frame some of the sentiments. A bow tie, even, even um, a little crown as well, I think that is. So absolutely loving that. Oh, and a little cane. Absolutely loving these. That's definitely gonna be the next um, Stampin' Sunday set I work with. Also managed to get this. Um, this was the die as well as the stamp. And this is AJ414. They tend to have um, the letters on these. So this is the Artist Mini. And I just love these little mice that Anita Durham creates. So um, probably won't use the sentiments necessarily, but I love this little character. So I've managed to get that. And then finally, a stencil from Simon Say Stamp and it's the gingham stencil. So hopefully you can see that, maybe not so much on the wire, but there you go, see it a little bit better there. So looking forward to doing that. I've never actually done any stenciling with gingham or plaid patterns. So this will be a good way for me to experiment with this. Uh, quite a delicate um, stencil because there's only really one piece holding them together. But a great stash all. Um, wouldn't say it was super cheap because of the postage, but um, I don't think I would have got this anywhere else. So that's why I really decided to go for it as a one-off. So that is the f first thing that I've got in August. Hello, and uh, I'm just back from the Love of Scrap. So I wanted to share some goodies with you. And let me just get them all out of the bag for you. Okay, well, I'll just start off with this actually. I actually got this from Spotlight, not Love of Scrap. Um, this is the Fabriano Watercolor Quell. It's a cold press. And as you can see, it's just um, just shy of six inches by eight and a half. So I think this would be good for a couple of card bases on each sheet. I want to give this try because I heard a lot of good things about this. And this is the first time I've seen it stocked in Spotlight. So they've got a few different ones. They've got the hot press as well as the cold press. They've got one that's a bit more heavy texture. So if I get some good results with this, I'll be going back for the other ones as well. So I'll let you know how I got on with that. But this is the stuff that I have got from the Lover's Scrap. So first of all, from Totally Tiffany, this is a small stamp die and stencil pocket. These are seven and a half centimeters by nine centimeters. Now let me go grab a small stamp. As you can see at the moment, I'm using these five and a half by five and a half inch pockets. But I think these would be much better. You can see, so it's going to save a little bit of space. They're not going to flap about as much in the pocket as well. And the better value, of course, because they're smaller. So there's 25 in that pack. So a little bit of reorganizing coming up for me with those. The other thing I got was some more Lindy shakers. Now, um, I don't know if you saw my video that I had on a few weeks ago. I don't know if you saw the video I did a few weeks ago, but I've been loving and playing with these magical shaker powders. So these obviously won't be included in that. I've only got them today, but you'll see the other selection that I've got um, and how I swatch them out. I'll put a link for that for you. And then I've started my Distress Ink collection. So I finished my mini ink collection a long time ago and I've been loving watching Christina Werner use these for um, kind of watercolory effects. 
she did suggest getting let me see she did suggest starting with these colors because these are the main colors that you would get in a photocopier like the scion and magenta and whatnot um and then of course when these two colors mix each other you get the extra colors in the middle like the greens and so on so i started with these also got this wilted violet um because then that's going to make a perfect rainbow selection for me so I'm going to try that in my next stamping video as a background. So I'm looking forward to playing with those. And of course, once I've collected all those, then it's time to start off with all the Distress Oxide Reinkers. So it never ends, does it? But I love having them in my craft room and all the nice colours. I also picked up this. I've not seen it before. I don't know if you have. And it's, as you can see, it's a Ranger product. And how cute is this? Little hands. So it's for when you're embossing, you can hold on to your projects. Um, so you don't get um, don't get burnt obviously these are heat resistant silicon hands um, nice and soft so it says it's not going to leave any max on your paper which sometimes does when I use my tweezers I've been using my reverse tweezers for holding on to embossing so this is a um, nice little tool and they're super cute aren't they can you imagine using this we'll see how we go with those because I've been doing a little bit more embossing of late and then getting ready for Halloween. So I just got a couple of sticker sheets. I've still got heaps of papers and I do have some um, digital downloads as well to print out, but you can't beat the value of these sticker sheets. These are $5. You can see you've got so many of them. This one is Echo Pack and I've got another one which is Simple Stories. So this is from Boo Crew, which I think I've got the um, paper pads for both of these so that is going to be cute i'm planning on doing a little series again for halloween like i did last year last year i just did it on instagram i don't know if you've got the same feeling as me though with instagram of late i ugly see anyone's projects i ugly get comments and likes on mine i feel like the new feed is just based on reels or just looking for videos rather than images now so i haven't been posting as much on instagram so i'll probably stick to youtube when i do my little halloween collection so it'll just be five days of little um layouts or gift cards or whatever so look forward to using those so my parcel arrived from crafties as you can see here crafties.com.au i love ordering from crafties because their delivery is always super fast and they always have the latest stuff as well which is great so you can see here i got this little stamp you know i love collecting these little miniatures the colorado craft company stamps so i'm really pleased to get that add that to my little stash and then I actually bit the bullet and got the Simon Early Stamping Foam. Um, I've been avoiding anything from the St Simon Early range, to be honest. Um, nothing personal. I've just um, just not really been attracted to um, some of the stuff. I didn't realise, though, that this came in a pack of four. So this was a really good bag, and actually it was less than $10, I want to say. Um, so really good value. So I know this product has been kind of revamped. I've got a very old one that I've had maybe 10 years or more, but it doesn't work anymore. It's that old. It does when you heat it up, it doesn't take the form of the texture that you're pressing it on. So I thought I would bite the bullet and get this. Now, the real reason for my order was the new Distress Mica Stains. This is the Halloween collection for 2022. I got both of them while they were in stock. I really do want to get more into mixed media and I do a lot of playing with them, but really pleased to get these. Um, you see they've got the names on the back here. Fortune Teller, Wicked, Elixir, Decayed and Harvest Moon, Burning Ember and Iron Gate. So I did get the limited edition ones from the Christmas collection last time. These are limited edition ones for Halloween and I feel like it's going to be one of, one of these products that keeps coming back. If you saw Tim Holtz on his YouTube channel, he did mention that Ranger had agreed due to the popularity that they'll bring these back every other year if they get sold out. So even if they're sold at this time, you might not completely miss them. But I'm going to have fun swatching those and having a bit of play with those as well. And then finally, you can see I got these Avery L Extra Large Stamp and Die Storage. Now I love Avery L for my stamp and die storage. Decided to get the bigger ones to use for my stencils. Um, I do have them. Let me grab them. Currently store all of my stencils in this 12 by 12 album and you can see it's bursting at the seams. So I thought I would actually just maybe try something different and use the pockets in a little tub and see if that's any better because I've even in this 12 by 12 album I've started overlapping a lot of them. 
The only downside is some of these stencils are 12 by 12 so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those. I don't really want to cut them up if I don't need to but we'll figure it out. I've got a lot of smaller ones. I've got some that I made myself on my Cricut so it'll be great to have somewhere to store these separately as well. Hi I'm back so this is my last haul for the month of August. I've only got a few things I just popped into office works. Mainly went in to get this um, pencil. I've already got one of these um, although it's in a blue casing not that that matters and I absolutely love the way that it writes so I thought I'd get myself another one. I know the other one that I've got I keep with all my drawing stuff but this one I thought would be great in my little pencil case of all my little pens so I'm um, glad to get another one of those. Whilst I was there, I spotted a couple of sticker books, so I picked these up as well. Um, as you can see, these are the Cape Diem ones, and because I'm getting all organised with my planner, I've ordered my planner for next year. Um, I'm going completely different. I'm not going to do the Happy Planner this year. I'm going to go with Passion Planner, so I'm sure that's going to take a little while to arrive, but I thought these would be great as part of that for when I set that up. And then finally... 99 cents <laughs> just some vanilla dividers you're probably thinking this is a bit dull why did why did I need these but I've got a plan um, my plan is to cut them this way so I get shorter dividers but still get the tabs and then I'm going to put these in a little tub and then this is that where I'm going to section off all my planner stickers so as part of getting ready for next year and watching lots of videos around how people organize their stickers I thought I'd give this method a try because I do have lots of sticker books and I have already ripped out various themes of things um, you know whether it's home work uh, chores all that kind of stuff so I thought this might help me actually get them a little bit quicker and I've got lots of random sheets as well so I'm going to give this a try see if that works and we'll see how we get on with that so these little sticker books are going to get ripped apart if um, if that's my plan and it works out well so we'll see how we go with those but yeah not a lot very quick haul right at the end of August and you can see I got quite a lot of goodies in August but that is it I hope you enjoy watching that I will see you next time have a great crafting weekend